Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. In this video, we're going to use AutoTrain, our AutoML service, to classify images without writing a single line of code. AutoTrain has been around for a little while and you could already do natural language processing and tabular data with it. And we recently added image classification. So I found a few interesting data sets on Kaggle and of course on the Hugging Face Hub. And we're going to see how we can use those data sets to train high performance model. Okay, let's get started. Image classification is a simple problem to understand. We start from a collection of images organized in different classes and labeled with class labels. Okay, and our purpose here is obviously to train a model that can automatically recognize which class an image belongs to, uh, hopefully with a high degree of accuracy. So first things first, we need a data set. So for convenience, we're going to use existing data sets, but you could very easily use your own data. We'll look at the, the data format that uh, AutoTrain expects. A simple CSV file with the image path and the image label. Uh, we'll take a look at that. But for now, let's try uh, some existing data sets. So, you know, I took a look on Kaggle and, um, and I found a few that I thought were really interesting. So there's this one, uh, with which is called the chest X-ray images data set, which uh, is uh, a collection of chest X-rays showing either a, a normal X-ray or a pneumonia X-ray, okay? And we can learn how to classify that. So we'll try this one. Alternatively, uh, there's a, an Alzheimer's uh, data set, which is, uh, uh, equally interesting with um, uh, four classes showing different states of, uh, of the disease. Uh, so feel free uh, to try this one as well. And we'll look at another one also, <laughs> which is a little more uh, lighthearted, which is the Food 101 dataset. And this one is actually present on the Hugging Face Hub. So it's a good opportunity to show you both how to use um, a data set um, that you prepared um, outside of the hub and as well as a data set that's already on the hub. So we're going to do both, okay? So we'll start with the chest x-ray data set. So uh, obviously I downloaded it uh, and uh, we can take a quick look at this data set. Uh, it's, uh, it's a zip file as you would expect. And it has three folders. Let's look maybe at the training folder. And it has a normal folder for images uh, without pneumonia. And of course, it has a uh, pneumonia folder for, um, for uh, pneumonia pictures, right? And we can see actually there are two different types of pneumonia here. We have uh, bacteria and virus. So yeah, I guess maybe we could even split this into two, two classes and, um, and have a, a, you know, finer grain model, but we'll stick with the, the vanilla data set here. Okay. okay. So we have two classes, um, and let's see how we can, uh, feed this data set into auto train. So of course I logged into the hub. I went to the auto train page and I'll just click on new project. Uh, let's give this one a name, uh, chest X-ray demo. Uh, we'll select the vision task, you know, as mentioned before, you know, you can do NLP and tabular. So we'll stick to vision and image classification for now. We'll let auto train pick uh, the best models, right? So that's the automatic choice here. If we wanted to fine tune uh, a single model, we could use manual and select a model from the hub. So for example, we could you know, fine tune the Google Vision Transformer or another model. But here we'll just uh, let AutoTrain pick everything. Okay, create the project. And now uh, we can add our data, right? So we have different ways of doing this. We have the prearranged folder technique, which is the one we're going to use. So upload data from, from my machine and the data is ar already organized in, in the appropriate folder. So one folder per class, as we saw, 
Uh, we can pass uh, a CSV or a JSON lines file as well, or we could use a hugging face dataset, right? And we'll do this one later. So for now, let's just upload the data. All right, so let's just click here and we'll go and select our data set. So that's the chest x-ray data set. Let's try the training set first. Okay. Yes, I want to send it. So it displays some thumbnails. I can see this is okay. Our training set and my two folders. I see the number of files. So this one will be used for training. Okay. And I can add it to the project. So it's going to uh, upload the data. It's actually going to build it into um, a hugging face data set, uh, which is private. Okay. So no worries about confidentiality. You could make the data set public if you wanted, but by default, it's going to stay private. So this is going to take a few minutes and maybe more depending on your network connection. So let me pause the video and I'll be back once that data has been uploaded. Okay. Okay, so after a few minutes, we see we're done uploading the training set. So I'm going to do exactly the same for the test set now. Exact same process. So data sets, x ray, test, send it. Yes. Okay, this one is for validation, add to project. And here we go again. Of course, this is a much smaller one, so should be faster. See you in a few minutes. Okay, so now the test set has been uploaded as well, right? And, you know, we keep, keep adding data sets, but that's all we need for now. So let's just go to trainings. The data that we uploaded has been created as the hugging face data set. And in fact, if we go to the hub, here's the list of my data sets. I can see this new data set, which is private. Okay, uh, and we can check that here. So no worries, I could make it public if I want it. And of course, if I go and look at the files, I'm going to see my image folders right there. Okay. So now I have this data on the hub. So that means if I want to work with, the, with this data set again, obviously, um, I don't have to upload it, right? So whether I'm using it for auto train or, or, uh, or directly um, uh, with a model in a notebook, etc., you know, it's already there. So the, just upload it initially. And then, uh, and, and then, of course, you can save time, and just reuse, um, reuse this data set, uh, which is, you know, a proper data set. So we can use the data sets library to download it, etc, cetera, etc, cetera, right? Okay, so let's just wait for um, auto train to clone this into my job. And, um, and then we'll see our training jobs uh, starting, right? So let's give it a minute or two. After a few minutes, I can see some metrics appearing here. Uh, and I guess, you know, the leaderboard will change. But this is what we have for now. 92.3 accuracy uh, for the top model. Let's see if we can do a little better. Oh yeah, 9343. Ask and you shall receive. Great, so um, let's wait for the job to complete and, uh, and then we'll see the final results. After about 16 minutes total, the job is complete and 93, 43% accuracy is our top score. Okay, so let's take a look at this model. It's been automatically pushed to the hub. Okay, so uh, we see we have a model card created automatically. We see we have our metrics, uh, detail metrics, F1948. That's pretty good. And of course, we have full visibility on this. So if we look at the config file, let's download it. Yep, we can see, let me zoom in maybe a bit. Here it is. <laughs> um, let me zoom in. Okay, we see this is Swin, right? Which is one of the top uh, transformers for image classification. 
Okay, and we, of course, we see the hyperparameters. And so you can see exactly what's this job about. You could, you know, restart the job from those parameters, et cetera, et cetera, right? No, no surprise. Let's close this. Okay, um, while the job was training, by the way, I did um, make the dataset public, if you want to try it out. Um, and I updated the model card as well, added some more information, a link back to the original uh, data set, and now the data set's public, so we have the preview as well, which is super convenient. Okay, so you can, uh, you can go and grab this one, right, directly, if you don't want to download the Kaggle version and, and go through the process of uh, uploading it, right, just load it this way, much simpler. Okay. Uh, by the way, uh, we could now use this in auto train as well. So let me quickly show you how you want to do this. Uh, it's very easy. So let's just go back to auto train, create a project real quick. Okay, vision automatic create. Okay, so now what we would do is just select a data set from the hub right so we can just browse and now of course i need to remember the name for it just type this here so it's gonna say auto train data yeah that's the one okay so we can select there's a single config we can select um, the training split for example Okay, and of course we, you know, we see the same, right? We see the same. So um, we can just add the image here and the label and add to project. Okay, and so now it fetches it directly from the hub, which of course is much simpler, right? So how do we try this new model? Well, that's pretty easy, right? Because as we saw, this is on the hub already. And um, yeah, let me make it public so that you can try it as well. Yep, make it public. And I'll try not to delete it. <laughs> uh, and let's just grab the name. Okay, just like that. Uh, we can try, of course, to add an image here. So let's see how this goes. Let me go back. Oh yeah, I was here. Let me go back to my uh, data set. Yeah, let's take you know, yeah, an image from the test set. Maybe any one will work. Okay. So it's loading the model and we should see the prediction. Okay, and we see the result. Well, this is an image that, you know, is scored very high, right? So. Great. Okay, so uh, don't worry, I'll put the name of the model, the links and everything into the video description so you can do the same, right? So let's do the same in the notebook. I'll just copy the name of the models, move to my notebook, maybe zoom in a bit here. So very simple, importing transformers, creating a pipeline. Let's just make sure this is the right name. Yes, here's a test image, so let's just run cells will download the model to create the pipeline and then we'll predict the test image well here we go so you could try different images of course um, and if you wanted obviously you could uh, load this uh, as a model uh, with the, you know from pre-trained in the transformers library and have more control over the, the prediction but the pipeline is just the, the easiest way to do this. Okay, there you go. Uh, feel free to replicate the demo. You can try the uh, X-ray data set. I made it public. Uh, you can try uh, the Alzheimer data set, which I showed you here. I'm running it right now. Let's see where this lands. Uh, there's this Food 101 data set, which is what you think. It, it has 101 classes uh, of uh, food images, but this one is already on uh, is already on the hub so um, 
and I actually uh, I actually ran a job a while back. Um, yeah, so you can upload it directly from the hub, just like I showed you. And this one scored 91.45, which which is very good, I think. It's a very good score. I compared it to some other image classification services and made some friends on LinkedIn. Uh, but still, you know, I think this is a really good score. <laughs> anyway, you know, I always need more friends. Well, there you go. So um, this was a quick run through Auto Train uh, for image classification. Feel free to try it. Uh, again, all the links will be in the video description. And uh, if you have any questions, you can ask your questions here or anywhere you find me. Happy to help. I hope you liked this. I hope this was fun and I'll see you next time. Keep rocking.